with another video and today we're going to be doing a huge Sephora haul for you guys. We would have done this haul when the sale was going on but our packages came too late but we still decided to do this anyway because you guys typically always want to see what we get during the sale if we shop it and we did this time. We got quite a few things so if you don't already get you a beverage, snack, dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever you need to have to get through this video go ahead and get that. So we're going to hop right into it. Okay guys, so we're going to start with body care and skincare because that's what we got the most of. We normally don't use the sale to buy makeup to be completely honest. We yeah. use it to buy like things that we've been eyeing throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And it's usually body products. And we don't go through our makeup as fast as we do body products. That's very true. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with skincare like on the face first. Okay, so the first product I have here is a repurchase. This is from the Inky List and this is their Oat Cleansing Balm. I actually purchased two of these but... I gave one to Kelsey because she was running out of hers as well. This is my go-to product at the moment for my first cleanse because I am a double cleanser. This is amazing if you guys are looking for a fragrance-free cleansing balm. There are quite a few like cleansing balms and oils out there, but this one has worked wonders for me lately. It doesn't break me out. It's not irritating. It doesn't sting my eyes because I'm really picky about what I put on my face these days. And this, super affordable. I think it's like 10 bucks. So you can't really beat the price. And I really love the texture of this. It kind of looks like honey, like when you squeeze it out, mm -hmm. at least to me. Yeah. We mentioned this in our Broke Girl skincare video. Yes, we did. So if you want to know more about this product, you can watch that video. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. It lasts quite a while. So this will be my second tube. But I got two initially for myself. And then I just decided to give the extra one to Kelsey. Well, I'm almost out of my other one, so... Yeah, so if you guys are looking for a good cleansing balm, the Oat Cleansing Balm is the way to go because I'm in desperate need. I'm like squeezing the life out of the one I have now. So the first skincare product that I got is also a repurchase. This is from Biosance and this is their Squalane Peptide Eye Gel. I've purchased this in the past, like I said, but I stopped buying eye cream and eye gels for a very long time because I started to notice that they weren't making a huge difference. But when I wasn't using this one, I did notice a difference in the morning. So I'm not really an eye cream or eye gel user at night, but I love a good eye gel during the day because it really helps with like puffiness. And I love that cool feeling under my eyes in the morning because I'm not a morning person at all. So I like an eye gel in the morning. I used to use the Lancome one, but I like this one way better. And this one is cheaper than that one. If you guys have tried this one, you probably know that it's pretty bomb. And I like this one because if you have sensitive under eyes as well, it doesn't like burn or give you those annoying little milia bumps under your eyes because I have gotten those in the past from eye creams. So I stay clear of eye creams. So I just prefer eye gels for my eye. And like I said, I only like them during the day because at nighttime, my routine is long enough and I'll be trying to do all that. So speaking of eye cream, I really wanted to try the Skin Fix one. So I do use eye cream at night. I actually use the First Aid Beauty Retinol eye cream at the moment. And I really wanted one that was a little bit more nourishing because that one's really good. It's very lightweight in texture. It's more lotion-y. But I feel like I need like a little bit of extra something. And I'm not even gonna lie, I already tried this. So I will tell you guys that this is a winner for me so far. I wasn't really looking for an eye cream that doesn't cause milia bumps because I never had a problem with that. But I have had a problem with eye creams making my eyes burn like when I wake up the next day. Same. And yeah. also eye creams that actually irritate like the actual skin under my eyes. And now that I think back it's because I was using eye creams with fragrance, fragrance in them. Yeah. So this one actually feels really soothing and calming underneath the eye. So this is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Lipid Boost 360 Eye Cream Healthy Eye Treatment. So I could not wait to try this like the other day and I was like I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Thank God I remembered to include this in this haul because it would have still been in my bathroom. But I really love this product. It's very creamy and I love the Skin Fix brand because they have all fragrance free products. I think they're all fragrance free, at least the ones I was interested in. This does not have fragrance and it's not irritating. I love like the creamy texture of it. I only use this at night. So if you're looking for a good night eye cream, if you use eye cream, then I highly recommend this one because I've been loving it so far. Obviously eye cream isn't that necessary, but I just like to apply it. Okay, so back to a Biosense product, I got their Squalane and Zinc Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. Kendra mentioned this in a favorites video, I think, and 
when I tried it on my hand, I was very intrigued because it didn't really leave a white cast. So I'm super excited to try this because I go through sunscreen really, really fast. They don't have a bigger size of this. Mm -mm. It's kind of small. This looks like for your car. It does fit in my, my purse. I've been keeping it in like my purse. Maybe I should put it in my purse for when I reapply while I'm out. Yeah. So I should probably do that because mm -hmm. I go through sunscreen a lot faster these days because I actually apply the correct amount. So I'm using my Innisfree one right now that I really, really like that we also mentioned in our Broke Girl Skincare video. Love that one, but it's gonna be gone soon because I use so much. So I'm gonna use this one after that. I just wish it came in a bigger size. I don't know why I thought it was bigger. This is why you read the fluid ounces uh -huh. on the website, people. So the next product we both got is the uh -huh. Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. So this has been all over YouTube lately in the skincare world. And yes. that's typically all I watch. I watch a lot of skincare videos Same. and I have been on the hunt for a nighttime moisturizer that's not as light as the one I'm using currently. I still love my Avene Recovery Cream and I don't know why they call it a cream because it feels like a lotion and that's exactly what I was looking for is a cream and this is an actual cream. Yeah the Avene one I use the actual cream the restorative cream. I use that sometimes too, but like once a week when I'm not doing like any active. Yeah, but I needed like a daily, daily cream. nighttime moisturizer. Got it. Same. And this one, I also already used this one too. So I dabbled in this as well. I don't want to waste it. Is it like... It's bomb. I can tell y'all it's very like creamy. So it comes out like a cream, but it doesn't feel like those like super okay. thick night creams. Like y'all know what like those super thick night creams look like. I opened it. I thought I can... Oh wait, I can't open it. Okay. Oh. And it's like the perfect balance between like a lightweight moisturizer and like a nice like mm. luscious creamy night cream. It's not like too much of either one. It's kind of like a hybrid of both. So if you have oily skin, if you have combination skin, this is a really great nighttime option because I sleep with the fan on. Sometimes the air can dry out my skin. Even though I have oily skin, Sometimes my face still feels like it's missing extra moisture. Moisture, yeah. And I really wanted a moisturizer that has like the good stuff in it, like peptides and, you know, the replenishing ingredients. Mm -hmm. Because even though you have oily skin, you don't want to like suck the life out of it with like actives and cleansing it too much. Yeah. And your skin really needs a good moisturizer in order to look healthy. So yeah. mm -hmm. I really love this one so far. So if you guys haven't tried this, please give it a try. I'm excited to try it because right now I'm using my Avin gel cream. I mentioned that in our yellow oh, favorites. Aqua gel. Yeah, okay. it's called gel cream. I love that one. I'm on like my fourth or fifth jar, but I'm noticing that my skin needs more moisture. It's like way too lightweight for nighttime for me. So mm -hmm. I moved it to my daytime routine gotcha. so I can make room for this for nighttime now. So uh -huh. I'm excited to be able to try it. It is actually fragrance free. I just smelled it just to make sure. No fragrance in this. So I'm excited to try it. I yeah. love it. Okay, so now moving on to body care. I got some body care that I've never tried before and I also got some stuff that I have tried before. So first things first, I have tried this before. This is from Necessary. This is one of my favorite body brands because it's non-irritating. It's great if you have sensitive skin on your body because not everyone just has sensitive skin on their face. So this is a body wash. This is the eucalyptus one. And this is one of my favorite scents from them. I've tried all of them before and this is my favorite one. This is by far my favorite scent. It just makes your shower smell like a, you know. Spa? Spa, tranquil rainforest or something. It just smells super fresh and clean. It honestly smells like you just showered and cleaned your shower at the same time. So fresh and clean and very relaxing and calming. Yes, yeah, smells like a spa. Um, so I love this scent. I've tried the bergamot scent before, but I didn't really like that one. Mm -hmm. And I actually like bergamot, but I didn't like it in like the body wash form. I got two of the eucalyptus body washes. I told y'all it's my favorite scent. I also got a Necessaire product and we both ended up getting this one. Yes. This is their The Body Serum. And I've never tried a body serum, at least not one meant for the body. I've used serums on my body before. But they were meant for your face? Yes. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I've used one other body serum and it's from Moroccan Oil. But that one doesn't oh. really feel like a serum. It still it, feels like an oil. It felt like a thick oil. Yeah, it's like an oil serum. Mm -hmm. But this is supposed to be like an actual mm -hmm. body serum. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was Yeah, I be. thought this would be smaller, but this is their body serum and this is fragrance free. So I'm actually really excited to try this. I love the packaging of this. And obviously oh, it has a true serum. Yeah, so it kind of feels like a gel texture. Definitely has hyaluronic acid in here. 
So you, obviously, this is like the first thing you put on your body, like before your yes. balms and oils. And so this is the step before your lotion, pretty much. And it your has body cream. No scent. This is the fragrance free. I think this product only comes fragrance free. I was going to say, I didn't see this in a, a, one of their other scents. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I only saw it fragrance free. So. This is a nice texture. It feels like a thicker, more jiggly hyaluronic acid. And then it, oh, it blends in so nicely. It's nice. So I can't wait to use this Same. tonight. Love this. So this has multi-hydration in it. It says it has vitamin B3. It has ceramides in it. And it also has something called, I'm not even gonna try that. So it has some very beneficial ingredients in it that are really good for the skin, like your face. So obviously it's gonna be good for the skin on your body. Mm -hmm. Because in my mind, I always think if it's good for my face, it's good for my body, right? So the next thing I got looked super, super interesting. I used to use this brand on my face, but they have way too much fragrance in their skincare products for my face. So I at least wanted to try one of their body products and this is from Glow Recipe. And this is their Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream. So I thought it was a lotion because it's in like a lotion bottle, but I was obsessed with the smell of their watermelon like face serum. So if this smells like that, then I'm super excited to try this. I thought this would be like perfect for summertime because yeah, watermelon, watermelon just screams summer to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what this smells like. Okay. Mm. Okay, here we go. Nice pink color as well. Mm. Smells like candy. Smells like candy. Very similar to the face serum. The face serum smelled a little more juicy. Mm -hmm. This smells a little more sweet. It's still really nice though, I like it. it kind of smells like that uh, Pop Rock candy. It does, I get why you would say that. Mm -hmm. It definitely smells just like candy though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. I love the detailing of this box too. I just love details, like when people like actually add details to packaging, super cute. Oh, this also has hyaluronic acid in it. Interesting. Yeah, it's antioxidant packed. It also has hibiscus, which is like a natural AHA, which is technically mm. a gentle exfoliant. Um, it just has a smooth roughness, including flakiness and bumps. We'll see about that because most things that claim to get rid of like body bumps, to me, you have to get rid of that in the shower. And I feel like a thicker body cream will get rid of that. This is more of a lotion to me. That's why when I saw that it said cream, but it was in like a pump, I knew it was going to be more of a lotion texture. Yeah, because yeah, most creams can fit through a pump. Mm -mm. Most of them. Not good ones. That's true. <laughs> but I'm still excited to try this. Okay, so the next product I got is from Supergoop and this is their glow oil. This is their SPF 50 glow oil. I've really been on the hunt for a SPF body oil because I used to use like a lot of spray SPFs, which I still like those, but I wanted to try something new for this summer. And I really like the Supergoop brand when it comes to their body sunscreen. So I'm really excited about this actual body oil. I'm not gonna put it on now because it's, it's not daytime, but I really, bought this with the intention of going somewhere this summer. So <laughs> I will be wearing this on vacation this summer. <laughs> it says it's lightweight and non-greasy, which fingers crossed, I hope so. It has argan and grapeseed oils in it, which I love both of those kinds of oils because they're not too thick. Yeah. So I have high hopes for this. So I got a body cream from the brand L'Occitane. Kendra actually put me onto this. We were back home visiting and she packed this. And I started using it and I became obsessed with this. Amazing. This is probably one of the best body butters I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of body butters considering. Um, the smell is very faint, just like a very light scent. Light clean. Very clean. It looks you kind of smell like, like a Jergens or something. Or yeah, it smells like lotion. It just smells like lotion. In a cream form. But it don't work like lotion. Mm -hmm. It actually moisturizes your body. Goes into the skin beautifully. Like silky. Like very silky. Like every time I got out of the shower, I wanted to like just steal this and yeah, try it. I, I noticed like, every time I kept looking in the container, I'm like, it looks a little more empty. <laughs> um, I like that it's not too thick to the point where you're like rubbing for yeah. your life. Mm -hmm. Cause like I'm trying to go to bed, not do a workout. So <laughs> I like that the consistency is like right in the middle. Yeah. It's like low key, like a lotion mixed with a thick body butter and they just whip it into this. And it leaves like a sheen on your skin. Yes. Kind of like a body oil. Oil does. does, exactly. You're nice and glowy after, so. Nice. Like if you want to like get rid of like all your body stuff and you're not very into very fragrant body products and you have sensitive skin, you should try this one. It's amazing. Um, so, so good. So this is their, I don't even know how to say the name, but this is their 
ultra rich body cream and it is very very rich okay so the next product is a repurchase i've used this many many times this is also a body cream this is the sol de janeiro brazilian bum bum cream this stuff is amazing this is one of those products that smells intoxicating but actually delivers and how it works it smells bomb i'm just mad that they changed the formula because i know they changed it really it used to be a lot thicker now it's a lot thinner and maybe texture. they're putting like, more it's more whippy like lotiony texture. maybe they're putting more water in their creams so they can make more of it it used to be thicker that's probably what they're doing i noticed still smells amazing yes. um i always mix it with uh, like a body oil anyway oh i just can't get over the smell yes yeah, smells fun um i used to buy their body wash a lot but for some reason i just prefer a sweet body butter for some yeah, reason not the body wash yeah and like in the shower i just like fresh clean fruity or something but this is like super super sweet so i would not recommend wearing this during the day if you live in the south and it's hot no they've made a lot of other body butters but this is still my favorite scent out of all of them the original nothing tops this to me it has a ton of really good ingredients it has coconut oil co some kind of butter okay i say fruit oil and guarana extract not sure what that is it looks like a flower interesting I do think the formula for the one in the teal packaging, I think it's the Coco Cabana one. I don't like that one. I like the formula of that one better than the formula of this one. You do? Yeah, it's a thicker like texture. If I buy a body cream, I want it to feel like a cream. This does feel like cream. You can put this in a pump and it could be called lotion. No, you lotion. could put it in the pump and it could be called lotion. That's true. Yeah. But it like, it makes your skin nice and glowy. The one you're talking yeah. about, I feel like it don't make me glowy. It doesn't. Mm -mm. I like it's kind of sticky. I don't like that one. Okay. It's a little too tacky for me. I don't gotcha. like that feeling on my body. So I used to use this a lot back in the day, but I saw it on Sephora finally not sold out. So I had to grab me one. I probably should have grabbed two. The name of this is the Clarins Contour Treatment Oil. Obsessed with this stuff. I wish the bottle was a little bit taller. About that. Because um, I go through this so fast because it's a very easy oil to use, but it's very effective. Because most people don't like using body oils because they leave you kind of greasy which i understand i don't mind that feeling but some people don't like you know getting in their sheets greasy which i understand because they do kind of ruin your sheets but i sacrifice it you know for you know the glow of it all so this is specifically for like contouring so you're mainly supposed to put this on like your thighs and your butt i put it everywhere but i focus it on like my thighs and my butt especially the back of my thighs because i don't want any ripples Got and it. I focus it on my boobs as well and then my chest. So this is a product that I can put everywhere. Like I don't even have to think about it because I have a lot of very fragrant body care, especially like a lot of my body butters have mm -hmm. like fragrance in them, like my Lilabo body butter. I'm obsessed with that stuff, but I can't put it on my chest just because my chest is very sensitive and chest knee is a thing. I do break out on my chest here and there. So I have to like, you know, mainly use whatever on my face on my chest because body products are most of the time a lot thicker mm -hmm. than like skincare that you put on your face mm -hmm. and it's not all meant for your chest so you should always treat your chest like as, as your neck and your face this is all one you know it's true and your neck and your chest and your hands till your age way before your face do so just keep that in mind don't skip none of this but i like this because like some nights i don't want to have to think about skipping my chest i just want to go in and just slather this all over and this doesn't irritate and this yeah it doesn't irritate it huh. or break me out okay. which is annoying it's amazing and it has a very like clean plant smell it's very clean very earthy. kind of earthy but i do like it it kind of reminds me of the tata harper product smell yeah and i mm -hmm. love the smell of her products Same. Like, i do too i can't use her stuff on my face but i love like her stuff for my body yeah me too okay so i got one makeup item because like we said i don't really go through makeup very fast but i needed a backup of my hot toddy lip gloss from buxom this is their full-on plumping lip cream I love this lip gloss. It's probably one I've been using for years at this point. I only love this color, the Hot Toddy one from the Buxom brand. It's like a really nice like peachy brownie nude color. It's perfect for my skin tone. I love the cooling feeling that it gives your lips and the longer you wear like when you first put it on it's like a little bit lighter but depending on what you mix it with it gets a tad bit like darker more peachy. So I love love this gloss. I'm wearing it today. Um, this is what their packaging looks like. Don't get it confused with their liquid lipsticks because sometimes their packaging can be kind of confusing. So make sure 
you see the plumping lip cream because sometimes you might get it confused with the liquid lipstick so this is the gloss and I love this one so had to get another one because it was much needed okay so I only got two makeup items this one I got two of it this is something I've mentioned in the favorites before this is from Hourglass this is their brow micro sculpting pencil and the reason I love this pencil so much is because it has a very unique tip instead of it being like rounded it's kind of like horizontal and it really gets in the bald spots of your hairs really nicely even though I don't have that many bald spots like I used to thank God for microblading but I still sometimes when I want like a full brow like I have on full makeup I want to like do a full brow and I love 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 that this doesn't like overdo it or give you sharpie brows it's just enough color for you to work with and the color that I get mine in is natural black so I'm obsessed with the formulation of this and it's super easy to use so if you're a beginner trying to fill in your brows, I highly recommend this because this is super, super precise. And then the only other makeup product that I got is from Pat McGrath Labs. And I already used this foundation. I love it. It's super lightweight. This is her Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Concealer. So I wanted to try the concealer because I read pretty good reviews on it. So I'm always looking for like an amazing concealer because I'm very picky with concealers because they're either too thick under my eyes and then I you know break out in this area or they're like too thin and they don't like give enough coverage Do anything, yeah. yeah so oh this is glass it's nice hmm. really nice heavy packaging yeah sturdy yeah um, I got the color MD24 so this looks like a really good color mm -hmm. so I'm super excited to try this with the foundation because I love her like foundation formulation. It's super watery, but it still gives really good coverage. Mm -hmm. Great formulation. Okay, so moving on to fragrance. I only have two to talk about because I technically don't really need any more perfume because honestly, I don't really have that much room. When it's time for me to get new perfumes, typically I'll look through my perfumes and see what I'm not using and then I'll just purge them. I'll give them away. Some of them are just old, so I'll throw them away. And I don't really need that many right now technically but I decided to try a new one and then get a repurchase of one that I already had so this one is a repurchase this is the Lancome Idol perfume so I used to have like the really short baby bottle of this one and I decided to get the full size bottle and the travel spray to put in my purse I love this perfume I don't think I ever mentioned this to you guys because I always had it like in my purse somewhere yes I'm that person who carries like the small bottle of perfume in her purse if it fits but I'm obsessed with the clean like crisp but a little bit of fruitiness of the scent I love this bottle I love the bottle I'm so pretty, pretty obsessed with it I think this is supposed to be like the thinnest perfume bottle ever and I love like the liquid in it too it has like a really pretty peach like pink color liquid so I'm also a sucker for perfume bottles because the packaging can get me also but I actually love the scent of this it's perfect for spring and summer I feel like this can be like a perfect signature scent like it could be like your go-to scent it's like that kind of girly mm -hmm. crisp kind of scent so mm -hmm. if you're not into like super sugary like sweet smells you would love this because it's not very clean. like a headache but it still has a sweetness to it but it's not like candy sweet it's like a sweet floral yeah anything with too much vanilla give me like a headache so i i do love vanilla but i like vanilla done right yeah and it has to be like more woodsy mm -hmm. but this is definitely in the clean family but it still warms up like the longer i wear it but not warm in like a gourmand edible way like warm just in like a soft skin like way does that make sense i get it so i had to get that and then i mean like y'all care what the mini one looks like so this is what i would carry in my purse because i like to have my favorite scents you know on the go with me so the only downside to this is that it doesn't really stand flat like on its own so i'm just gonna have to lean it against another one of my perfumes you have plenty to lean it on that's very true so the notes of this one are jasmine absolute radical rose essence and clean accord so I told y'all it smells really clean and I think the jasmine is like the sweetness coming in and then I really like a uh, rose in a lot of my scents. So that's what that smells like if you were curious about notes even though sometimes they really don't do anything for me because I, I interpret the scents different sometimes. But that's pretty much what it smells like a clean sweet floral. Okay so I got quite a bit of fragrances. Way more than me. Because I needed to replenish way more than you. 
Because okay. I threw away so many perfumes because they were That's so old true. and they didn't really smell like anything anymore. I got some that I've been eyeing for a very long time and the first few that I got are from Hermes and the first one is this one. You can't really see what the front of the box looks like but Kendra put me onto this one. This is their, y'all gonna have to excuse me with these names. The blue one. The blue one. This is their Marvelous Blue. This is the name of that one. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, Kendra put me onto this one because she wore this one. I can't, where were, where were we? We were out of town somewhere shopping. I feel like every time we go to like a new place, you always have a new scent. And I like it always, I like to buy a new perfume when I'm traveling because it yeah. makes me think of that place. I was going to say it makes me think of a yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So this is the bottle. Super pretty. The scent of this is excellent for like vacay. It's very oh unisex gosh. too. I feel like, yeah, you can use this or your man can use this. Oh, it smells so, so clean. Mm -hmm. I think of a boat when I smell this, where I need to be on a boat right now. But the notes for this one just says it's earthy and woody. So it's you so can kind of get why this is, will probably be unisex. It's also citrus and woods, and it also has juniper berries and patchouli. So good. So those are the key notes of this. So it sounds like it smells amazing, and it does. It smells mm -hmm. amazing. And I like that this is a very clean, light scent, but it clean, lingers. Woodsy for hours mm -hmm. like for a very long time that's the only thing about like the type of scents i like they don't last as long, last as long. Mm -hmm. more warm scents last way longer for some reason and the type My of scent yeah the yeah the scents you like last like for like years on your clothes but <laughs> but the scents i like they don't really last that long so yeah, i have to more spray on. so much on but this it's like very, very long lasting. Long lasting. It has great projection. Mm -hmm. You can actually smell it on someone else, which I like. Because you don't really want to buy perfume for people not to smell it. That's true. At least I don't. You, I want people to smell me when I walk in the room. So I'm obsessed with this. I'm so excited I have my own. I don't have to use Kendra's anymore. Yeah, you did something with this one, sister, when you discovered this. I was surprised yes. when you actually bought this because this is like a me scent. I like unisex smell but too. Because you, you only really wear these type of scents when we go to like somewhere tropical. That's true. Like, like the vacation. beach or something. That's true. It smells so good. And then the next two that I got, um, I actually have been eyeing for a while myself. I don't think you've tried these two before. No. Because some scents that I buy, I like smell Kendra's first because she usually, it's like a store in there, like a perfume store. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, I've, been I've seen worse. So the next scent that I got is also from Hermes. This is their Um Jardin Sir Letoit scent. And this one mainly caught my eye first off because of the packaging. You guys know I love green. This bottle is so freaking pretty. Pretty. I feel like it looks better. Okay, there it is. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. It's like it's glowing in a turquoise. It looks neon. Neon. It's just so freaking pretty. The notes of that one sounded good. I noticed most of their scents have like citrusy and woods together. Mm -hmm. which is what I'm obsessed with. I love the combination of the two. But this one specifically just says the scent type is fresh citrus and woods. And the key notes are apple, pear, and magnolia. Mm -hmm. So I love anything with pear in it. Like I've been obsessed with pear scents, uh, pear glaze from Victoria's oh, Secret. Yeah, that, scent. that used to be my scent in junior high school. I was obsessed with it. So this is like a more elevated version of that. It's a little more bougie. So this just smells like more like magnolia and pear to me. I don't really smell the apples as much. It's just really clean. Very clean with a hint of sweetness. So I really, really like this one a lot. This is like a nice like shopping day. Yeah, daytime. Daytime, everyday scent. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a nighttime scent. Definitely daytime. Okay, so the next scent that I got is from Jo Malone and I'm thinking about exchanging this for something else because it smells kind of basic. So the smell of this one is from their new collection. I forgot the name of the collection, but it's the ones with the little ball at the top of the bottle. I love the packaging yeah, of these. Yeah, so cute. And I mainly got this one. I blind bought it, obviously. I did not smell it in the store first. I got obviously online. And I love the notes of it, like what the notes said. So this is a warm floral and it has mandarin, hibiscus, and vanilla. I was very underwhelmed when I smelled this. It smells really good, but I wasn't obsessed with it. Like, that's a rule for me with my perfumes. If I'm not obsessed, then I'm probably not going to wear it. Yeah. It's just going to sit there and collect dust <laughs> or be a gift to one of my family members. I give away perfume a lot, so they're really lucky to have me. <laughs> 
but this is very sweet it's not as floral as i thought it would be and that's what i was expecting because as much as i love sweet mm, scents it is sweet as much as i love sweet if I you say it. it's a warm floral i want to smell the floral in it and i don't it smells very sweet and it kind of smells like something that i've worn before that i don't really wear anymore i can't put my finger on it but it smells very familiar but not in an exciting way i'm gonna exchange it for something else what i don't know it smells good it doesn't smell bad obviously but i am not obsessed i'm not blown away so i get that she can't stay <laughs> okay guys so i have two more scents and then i'm done with all my fragrances that i got so the first one is something that i actually used to hate i used to think this yes, was very did. funky and Why? i just didn't like it like so many people used to love this scent and i smelled it in sephora one time and i was like why but hmm. recently i got a sample of it like as like a point perk and i was obsessed with it was and it the original version that you didn't like maybe it was because this, this is, is intense yes yeah, this, this is dolce and gabbana light blue intense i'm obsessed with their boxes suede mm -hmm. um this is the intense uh version of the light blue so maybe it's the original that i don't really like hmm. um but the notes for this are lemon jasmine petals and musk so when I originally smelled this the first time, I just thought it smelled kind of basic, kind of like a Marc Jacobs scent or something. Shade. No shade if you like Marc Jacobs, but I just feel like most of the Marc Jacobs scent, they like all smell the same. Daisy and they all just smell exactly the same. But this is a really nice floral that smells very unique. So this is another really good like everyday daytime scent because it's super, super fresh, super, super clean. So if you like anything like with slight floral scent with a lot of citrus, you would really like this. And I like how this dries down on my skin. So the little sample size I had, I just put it like on my arms and throughout the day I kept smelling myself. And I was like, what is that? It smells so good. I, and I had just remembered that it was this. So sometimes you got to go back to a scent, give it a chance. You might like it. Okay, so I also got a Joe Malone scent, but I happen to be obsessed with mine and I'm I should have got not taking it back. This is the Joe Malone Scarlet Poppy. And this is the Cologne Intense. So that's probably also why I like this. How cute is this bottle, by the way? Really cute. Super cute. Oh, this smells so good. So the notes for this are sweet. Ambrette, Scarlet Poppy, and Tonka Bean. So that's probably why I like this because of the tonka bean. It's not so vanilla-y that it's just like sweet. The scent type for this is right on the money. This says it's warm florals. And that's exactly what I would describe this as. It's floral, but it's warm. Hmm. And that's very unique because most florals aren't warm. Most of them aren't. True. They're but more I like, light. I like fruity florals or I like warm florals. This smells amazing. This is definitely a night scent. Mm -hmm. This is not a day scent. Like this is great for dinner. It can be daytime for fall. I think that could be a good daytime scent. Yeah. For like, like a September. Yeah, you're right. October. Yeah. Yeah, when it's cooler outside during mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to wear this like, you know, throughout the year, I love this for nighttime. Okay, so I have one nail product to mention because I really needed a new nail strengthener. I used to have the OPI one, but that one got a little old and crusty, so it was time for a new one. This is from Deborah Lipman, and this is the Hard Rock Base and Top Coat Nail Strengthening Polish. <laughs> <laughs> this one had a lot of really good reviews um, but even if it didn't I just really wanted to try this one in particular because the Deborah Littman brand I've always been interested in. I always like the look of the polishes on there but I don't really wear like actual color polishes. I wear more gel colors but I really like to use products like this when I'm giving my nails a break like in between when I don't have like any kind of gel on them or anything. So I need something on my nails especially like when they break this I can put this over so I can feel like it's I'm nursing my nail back to health, if that makes sense. So uh, I can't wait to try this one. I love her bottle, by the way, too, like the square. Oh yeah, I like the detail in the bottom. Yeah, so I needed a new nail strengthener. Okay, so I have a few hair products to talk about. I'm gonna breeze through these as fast as I can. So the first product is from Orbe. This is their Serene Scalp Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. And I've always wanted to try some kind of high-end anti-dandruff shampoo because Usually the ones I've tried are the drugstore brands and I haven't tried one that's like higher end. So I really wanted to try this Orbe one, but this one really caught my eye. I love their packaging by the way. So it, it comes in pretty. this really pretty petal pink bottle and this is going to look really nice in my shower. So I only shampoo like maybe twice a month. I don't shampoo every single week because you know with curls, shampoo is too drying for it. And, but when I really need like a good pick me up for my scalp, I wanted to get something like this one 
it was, smells very fresh and clean kind of like a leafy it smells like the leaves on a rose if that makes sense <laughs> oh yeah i get why you would say that see i'm not crazy yeah, it does um so i can't wait to try this i really love this packaging because it looks like a very old school bubble bath like it looks like it a does. vintage bubble bath that mm -hmm. you can sit on your tub. I wonder if it's like actually minty though, like on the scalp. So it says serene, so I'm assuming that some of the ingredients will give it that feel because mm -hmm. it's for your scalp. The active ingredient in this is salicylic acid. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, that's probably great for exfoliating the scalp. Definitely. So I'm gonna need this. And I'm gonna come borrow that actually. Okay, got it. <laughs> and I got two of the Moroccan Oil Hair Mask. I used to use these years ago and I decided to repurchase them. So I got the Restorative Hair Mask from Moroccan Oil. So this is their repair one. And then I also got the Intense Hydrating Mask. This is their hydration one. So if you guys have been watching us, you know, since back in the day for a long time, then you remember when we used to talk about these. Yeah. And for some reason, these used to look a lot bigger. I don't know if they downsized, but they just feel smaller to me. I don't know why. No, they, Unless they came in. I big. actually think about it. We used to buy these at Cosmo, Cosmo Prof, Prof and they used to sell like the larger containers. You got like the pro one. Yeah, never mind. That makes sense. But I do think the formula still looks the Smells same. Smells the same too. Smells the same. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. I'm pretty sure they're going to work just as well, but I'm obsessed with these on my curl for my curly and straight hair. I was going to say, we used to use this on, on both. On both. But if one of them, I remember... I didn't like it on my straight hair. I feel like it weighed it down too much. That was probably the hydration one then. Oh, okay. Yes. But I can't wait to start back using these for my weekly deep conditioning treatments. And the last hair product I got is from Olaplex. I've never tried this before, but Kelsey used to use this a lot back in the day. And this yes. is their number three hair perfecter. It repairs and strengthens for all hair types. So this is my first time trying an Olaplex product and I hear a lot of good things about it. So this is just to keep my curls, you know, nice and bouncy. And healthy so I can't wait to try this how often do you use something like this well when I used to use it I used it maybe like once every two weeks that's what this says no this says one time per week and then it says for damaged hair two to three times per week no I don't need all that my hair don't need that no that was at one point I did use it like twice in a week because I was okay. trying to get rid of some heat damage gotcha and it, it helped it didn't completely get rid of it but it did help gotcha uh-huh Okay. But it is a really, really good product. They have way bigger packaging at Cosmo Propkin. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So I'm excited about this and according to Kelsey, it gets five stars. Okay guys, so last but not least, we have some candles and Kendra has one extra home like fragrant scent thing. So I got two candles from Overose. You guys know this is probably one of my favorite brands that I actually discovered on Sephora. I actually haven't ordered from their actual website. Um, cause they have like a store in Paris that I actually want to go to whenever we go back to Paris. But I just got two more of my favorite scent, which is the Aurora Flown scent. And I mentioned this in our yearly favorites last year. Uh, this scent is impeccable. First of all, how cute is this purple packaging? It's really sweet. This scent is kind of sweet, kind of citrusy. So the notes for this one are candy cherries, ripe nectarines, lemon blossom, and a touch of lime basil. Hmm. That's pretty accurate. This smells even better when you light it, like the projection in your room. I think all the candles that I've tried smell better lit. Yes. And these are actually really, really worth the money because you only need to burn one. You don't need to burn like three in one room, especially if the room is That's not true. that big. One is just enough. And we've burned only one in our living room before and it smelled up like the whole living room. And we had very high ceilings because of like room with like higher ceilings take way longer to like get the it smell. on the brand that you're lighting. That's what I'm saying. Like some like candles that I bought, the projection sucked. This projection is amazing. So I get why they're so expensive, but like I said, they're really worth the money. So the scent that I decided to try is the Anamorphine because I love their holographic packaging because I think they're like the first brand to ever do like holographic packaging. I'm not saying, I'm saying that weird. I'm holographic. Always, holographic. <laughs> I knew it was not what I said. I have all the holographic packaging scents except this one. And this one is in that same family of the other ones I have. It's very fruity. So this one in particular, the Anamorphine has peony, raspberry, lemonade, rose water, and lime. So this one is very, very summery. Love this one. For spring and summer, I'm not going to lie, I do like a very clean, fruity scent. 
Although sometimes I do stick to like my woodsy warmer, like ooh, vetiver, those kind of scents yeah, at night. Yeah, I burn them year round. I love those like all the time, but yeah. around this time of year, I'm specific, I'm partial to these. I love packaging when it comes to candles because obviously that is a part of decor. So you gotta look cute too, right? Okay, so the last candle I decided to get, I got two of them because I was just so obsessed with the notes and it's called Valkyria. I sounds right. right. That sounds right. And the notes for this one are fig leaves, vineyard peaches, cocoa milk, and cedarwood. I smell a lot of the cedarwood in this as well as the fig leaves. I don't really smell peaches, which is kind of disappointing and kind of the reason why I got this candle. <laughs> but that's okay because I still ended up really liking the scent. It's just a very specific scent. You're either going to love or hate this because it's very like peppery. Mm -hmm. Like it's very wood. like sharp, woodsy, it's sweet. It's a little strong. But it smells a lot softer when it's burning. It's not as intense as the actual smell is. So I when don't you burn smell it, peaches. I don't smell peaches either. But this is their pink oh, packaging. It's really good, pretty. It's like this is like a peachy. Yes. Like mm -hmm. a peach packaging. It smells it's better burning. Strong, but it smells like a really good candle to burn outside. Got it. You know how some people burn candles like in their like backyard, like whether like in front of a bonfire or something, mm -hmm. or like you're having like dinner outside and you're having wine. This is a nice. It's outdoor a nice smell. outdoor smell. And last but not least, I decided to try one of these Nest fragrance diffusers. I love re diffusers for my bathroom just because I like how it lingers and I usually always get a clean smelling one obviously it's the bathroom so I wanted to try their bamboo one this is my first time trying one of these because I big. typically get like my diffusers like this from like Pottery Barn or West Elm or something they're not like a specific diffuser brands it's like just the ones they sell there if that makes sense but Nest has quite a few scents and it took me forever yeah. to decide which one to try but the bamboo one is the one that I went with and this one is very clean which is obviously what I was looking for I was going back and forth between this one the eucalyptus and the linen one and I just Ooh. went for this one the linen probably smelled bomb so it has like a little cork topper on here I feel like I'm opening wine it's very very clean has like some florals in there um but obviously, if you guys don't know what a Fresh. diffuser is, you just put the sticks in there, you flip it every couple of days, or I typically flip mine like once a week and that's just enough for me. Like when I'm cleaning the bathroom, I'll just flip the sticks and that typically lasts all week. And I love these because you can just forget about it pretty much and it lingers for a really long time. If you see how much liquid is in here, this is gonna last probably like for like six, seven months. Yeah, it's huge. So, this one it was kind of pricey, but I didn't realize how huge it was gonna be, so that's probably why. So if you guys, fifty nine fluid ounces, so yeah, it's huge. So if you guys are looking for any good diffuser brands, try out Nest because they have a lot of scents. I'm telling y'all, they got a lot. Like I was tempted to get more than one. They had like pear, they well, had grapefruit, they had amber. I think I'm gonna try the the Rose, linen one for my bathroom. Yes, the, the linen one. And they have a, a lemon one. They have a lot. So. Okay guys, so that wraps up this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, but this sale only comes around twice a year. So we had to get all of the things that we've been eyeing to get them 20% off. So we wish we would've did it during the sale so you guys can shop after you see what we got. But there will be another sale when the holidays roll around. So just have some of this stuff on your list because I've been eyeing most of these products for months, just saying. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this haul and we'll see you guys next time.